How is it going everybody Mr Android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel today i'm going to show you some really useful tips tricks and hidden features that will definitely help you to get most out of your samsung device trust me you're going to learn something new and useful in this video so stay tuned and watch it till the very end also let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one so drop a like leave a comment and let's get started all right guys first let me show you a very useful trick related to my files app Let's say you are browsing all your files and documents inside the My Files application and if you quickly want to view something, you just tap on it and it opens that in a separate window. Instead, if you really want to open that particular file in a split screen window for better multitasking, what you can do is you just need to long press and move this towards the right or left side corner and you can see we got this split screen option. Now you can drag this towards the upper half or lower half of your screen as per your requirement and it opens that file in a split screen window for better multitasking. Not only this, you can also open any image in a pop-up window directly from the My Files application. This comes really handy when you want to view multiple files at the same time. Definitely try this one out. If you are using gestures on your Samsung phone, then the easiest way to open split screen is by swiping with your two fingers like this. You can activate this feature by going into the Labs option that is available inside the Advanced Features. Now what if you are using the navigation buttons? Then let me show you another easy way which will save a lot of your time. All you need to do is, you just need to long press on the recent button and it directly opens the split screen window. To activate this feature, you will need a GoodLock module called Multistar. So just open the GoodLock app on your phone and install the Multistar module. Once done, simply open and enable this option that says Quick Launch of the Multi Window. You can either assign this shortcut to open split screen or you can open pop-up window. Let's say if I select open in pop-up view, now if I long press on the recent button, it opens that app in a pop-up window. I think it's a really useful feature, especially when you're using navigation buttons on your phone. Did you know you can play YouTube videos in picture in picture mode without having premium subscription? Now there are so many ways to do this on your Samsung phone, but let me show you one of the simplest method. All you need to do is just select a video which you would like to play in PIP mode, then open the recent apps menu, tap on this YouTube icon and select open in pop-up view. Now you can easily watch any video in PIP mode. You can adjust the size or change its position and the best part is you don't have to install any third party app on your phone. Next, if you are really annoyed by the ads that you get on your phone while opening any apps or visiting websites in Google Chrome. You get these kind of pop-up ads that we don't want to see and it does consumes a bit of your mobile data as well. Today I'll show you one amazing trick by using which you can easily block ads on your Samsung phone and you don't have to install any third party app. Just go to your phone settings, select connections and then go inside more connections settings. Here you will find this option called private DNS. It is turned off by default but if you really want to block those annoying ads then simply change it to private DNS provider and type dns.adguard.com. Finally click on save and just make sure to restart your phone once. Now after applying all these settings, you will not see a single ad on your phone and your browsing experience will get improved as well. Let's say you are playing games or watching a video on your phone and you don't want to receive WhatsApp messages just for a while. In situations like this, if you turn off the internet access, then your entire phone will become useless and you won't be able to play games or watch videos as well. Instead, what you can do is, you can shut off internet access only for WhatsApp. To do this, just go to your phone settings and search for background usage. Here you will find something called as background usage limit. Just go inside and add WhatsApp to the deep sleeping apps. Once that is done, WhatsApp will stop looking for any incoming messages and this way you can shut off internet access to WhatsApp for a while. Once you are done watching a movie or playing games, you can go back to deep sleeping apps and then remove WhatsApp. Did you know you can add 6 of your favorite applications in the lock screen instead of just 2? To do this on your phone, you will need a good lock module called Lockstar. So just go inside good lock and install this module called Lockstar. Once done, simply open and turn on the lock screen toggle. Now go inside lock screen, tap on this below icon and from here you need to select 6 apps layout. If you want, you can also change the alignment as per your requirement. 
now just click on the plus button and add six of your most used applications that you want to access from the lock screen finally click on save that's it now when you lock your phone it lets you access six of your favorite applications directly from the lock screen itself so that's pretty much it for this video these are some amazing tips tricks and hidden features that will definitely help you to get most out of your samsung phone if you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button subscribe to this channel if you haven't already i am mr android and i'll see you guys in the next one